sun. Oh my goodness. You would think like daylight is good, but it's like too good. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Mercedes. I know I've been on another hiatus. Um it's been a little while again. I do have a lot of content that I've already filmed. Um so there should be stuff coming your way. I do have a lot of polishes that I want to haul as well. Um, so those should be coming up too. Uh, but in today's video, we'll be live swatching a new collection launching from Great Lakes Lacquer. And it's called the On The Reef. It's inspired by the movie Moana, which Mariah, the maker, absolutely loves. Her and her family love this movie. I've watched it a gajillion times. I have two little kids, um, well, two boys. Um, and I'm lucky enough that they do want to watch it. They... I've tried to make them watch other this sun, I swear. I've tried to make them watch like the princess movies like The Little Mermaid or um I don't know, Cinderella, and they're just not about that life. Um but like Frozen and then the movie Moana, it's not your typical princess movie. Um and there's a lot of like action and bad guys and all that stuff, so they're obviously totally into that. So I can squeeze those movies in and rewatch them. <laughs> but yeah. Um, my hair is obviously dark as well. I went darker. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I was debating on going darker. I just, I know how long it takes to get to light hair on like dark hair. And it's just, it takes a while. Um, and it's a process. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to start that process over again. Or I wasn't sure if I wanted to just end it right there. I just wasn't sure if I should do it or not. Because I knew if I didn't want the dark hair, if I didn't like it, then I would have to the process all over again but i do love it and i'll probably stay dark for a while um i don't see myself going back to being blonde or light hair for at least a couple of years anyways these polishes will be launching uh, november 25th so black friday and there will be a deal going on um so you will be able to get them at a discounted price i'll leave all of that information down below there will be small batches available as well at a discounted price um, that will also be available on Black Friday or November 25th, um, but it's only going to be limited to one per household. So it'll be $10, $10 each, but only limited to one per household. Um, so I'll leave all of that again down below so you guys can reference it throughout the video or if you forget. So yeah, let's get into these swatches. All right, guys, first up is You're Welcome. <laughs> I'm going to try not to sing. I don't have a voice to be singing, um, but this is You're Welcome. And it's described as a sun dappled yellow warmed um, with a pinky red to orange to yellow shifting shimmer and a soft scattered holographic um the shimmer in this is absolutely gorgeous and for being a yellow polish this builds up beautifully in two coats um granted i do have shorter nails and maybe if you have super long nails you could build this up in three coats but the formula is amazing like you know yellows and, and building up to opacity there's always some trouble with it but i had no issues with this formula and that beautiful pink orangey shimmer is stunning next up we have kaka what um and i think i'm pronouncing this right it's been a while since i watched the movie but this is described as a soft nutty brown featuring pink to gold to green shifting shimmer this surprised me when I got it on my nails. I didn't think, looking at it on like in the bottle, that I would love it so much. But I, I love that brown, like orangey tone that it gives off against my skin tone. All of these polishes, I'm telling you guys, these shifts are insane. They're, it's just, it's gorgeous. <laughs> but this builds up beautifully in two coats. No issues whatsoever with the formula, no running or pooling long nails i can see you guys building this up in two coats as well and here it is with a full swatch just look how beautiful the shift is like in every single sort of angle you get some type of of beautiful shade and shift next up we have the village chief and this is described as a pink leaning coral filled with green to aqua to indigo shifting shimmer now you can see on that brush look at that look at that green shift right on that brush it's stunning um but this is almost like an icy shade i can see myself wearing this in the colder months so like january february just reminds me of a cold wintry day um but 
it built up beautifully into coats for me longer nails um probably want to do three coats um if you have a strong like a prominent nail line but oh my goodness it's it's gorgeous it kind of almost blends into my skin tone which i kind of don't mind but look just look right there when i move my hand you see how it almost turns to like a hot pink it's so beautiful and these colors these shades i usually don't lean towards but i'm, I'm loving this one all right and now we have should we maybe just cook him <laughs> and this is described as a juicy orange filled with lime green to blue to purple shifting shimmer i can definitely agree with the with the term juicy it's such a bright and bold polish but still very subtle on the nails like it's not it's it's something you can wear if you're a seasonal um polish wearer is something you can wear during the winter and still feel satisfied wearing a pop of color um and not feel too intimidated by it so looking downwards when you're painting your nails you can't really see the shift but once you have that full mani on so right here you can see all those gorgeous shifts so you can see like that purpley pink shift and a little bit of blue at extreme angles but more prominently you can definitely see that purpley pink shift and i think that's stunning Next up, we have the heart, and this is described as a jade green glowing um, with a blue to indigo shifting shimmer and a soft scattered holographic finish. Now, this polish is obviously in reference to the movie Moana, but I'm a little bit obsessed with the, the Titanic, and I think of the heart of the ocean, which is like a deeper, 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 like royal blue. But nonetheless, I think this is a gorgeous polish. I think it describes the heart um, beautifully. And that scattered holographic just makes this so sparkly. It gives it that extra little something. And you can see on the full mani, which I will be showing very shortly, right here, you can see how that subtle glowing shifting shimmer just also makes this polish. Like it just also, also like it almost makes it a little mysterious too. Next up we have, there is nowhere you could go that I won't be with you. And this honestly is is probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I think it's just, it's so touching. It's such a beautiful scene. Um, but this is described as a, a deep magenta filled with a blue to indigo to purple shifting shimmer and a soft scattered holographic. So this is a polish that looks a little bit different in the bottle than it does on the nails, but it's not a bad thing because Either way, they look, they both look gorgeous. Um, it's jam packed with so much shimmer. Um, long nails, short nails, I think two coats you'll be fine with. The formula, again, so easy to work with. You can really see, so you see what I mean? Like the polish looks a little bit lighter in on the nails, but it's all of that shimmer is, is like forward facing in the bottle, but you can definitely see it on the nails when it's when you're moving it around. Next up, we have I Know The Way, and this is described as a deep blurple featuring strong green to aqua to indigo shifting shimmer and a soft scattered holographic finish. And I definitely agree that it, there is a strong green to aqua to indigo shifting shimmer. I think this is probably, out of all of the polishes, the most intense shifts or just, they're just so bold and in your face. Um, two coats, I reach opacity, long nails, you're just going to need two coats as well none of these so far all of the polishes that i featured you're not going to need any type of like glitter smoothing top coat just a regular glossy top coat but oh my goodness do you see like intense shifts this polish is gorgeous beautiful blue polish lovers you need this one Next up, we have shiny. Yeah, okay, no singing. We have shiny. <laughs> and this is described as a light gold metallic microflake, hollow microflake, linear holographic, and a gold to pink to green to blue iridescent shifting flake. And this is going to be similar to the small batch um, polish um, that is called the stock market. I don't have that one to share with you guys, but just, just so you know. Um, but this, oh my goodness, so beautiful. Um, I remember the scene to this with the big crab. I think it's a crab. And this is like spot on. I love all of the shape, the flakes. I love all of the shiftiness the flakes have. This is gorgeous. 
And our last polish is You Know Who You Are. Such a great way to end all of these swatches, right? With this, with this polish name but this is this this is a flake bomb and it's featuring micro hollow flake a soft linear holographic black to orange to red shifting micro flake a lot and a red to orange to gold shifting iridescent flake you'll definitely need some type of glitter smoothing top coat for this one um, because it will dry down super textured uh, but it's it's a stunning polish i it's there's so much going on that i just built it up in two coats i really don't see long nails needing three coats because there's so many different elements to it um but this is gorgeous like look at this guys this is stunning there's so much going on it's so busy and i busy polishes are probably one of my favorite type of polishes to wear So if I had to choose favorites, I'm going to pick two of them. Um, one of them is Kaka What. God, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I can't. I haven't watched the movie in a while. But anyways, um, let me show you. I love the shift. First of all, these nails. <sighs> Obsessed with this polish. Um, it's polished for days. Um, crushed emerald. Beautiful. But definitely this one would be a favorite of mine i wasn't expecting it i wouldn't have expected this to be a favorite of mine like if i was just looking at looking at it in the bottle i'd be like eh, whatever it's it's an okay polish but not for me um it's beautiful but it just i would have said you know this is not for me but after swatching it and seeing it on my on my nails and against my skin tone it's gorgeous and i love that shift the second one is, should we maybe just cook him? <laughs> and I know what this is in reference to, but this polish is gorgeous as well. Do you hear my kids screaming? This is why it takes forever to film intros and outros, guys. I just love how bright it is. And I love that golden green yellow shimmer. All right. I'm gonna end this now because my kids are going crazy in the background but thanks so much for watching give this a thumbs up let me know if you're picking up any of these polishes or shopping the small batches that will be available and i will see you in my next one